This is ANN News Brief. Good morning, I'm Lucy Adeyemi. Nigerian authorities have extended the National Identification Number Registration and SIM Card Linkage by eight weeks. Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Issa Ibrahim Pantami, announced the new April the 6th deadline as a, at the Ministerial Task Force on NIN SIM Registration Meeting held on Monday. Nigeria Communication Commission's Director of Public Affairs, Ike Adinde, and Head of Co Corporate Communications National Identity Management Commission, Kayode Adeguke, said in a joint statement on Tuesday, the extension is to give Nigerians and legal residents more time to integrate their NIN with their SIM cards. More than 56 million Nigerians are reported to have completed the exercise. Pantami reiterated the need for Nigerians and legal residents who are yet to register for the NIN to take advantage of the deadline extension. Authorities say more than a thousand registration centers have been activated and made operational across the country to make the process easier for Nigerians. Mobile network operators are also reported to have opened hundreds of centers and are rapidly deploying resources to open thousands of other NIN enrollment centers across the country. Demonstrators protested at a beach in Cape Town in what is seen as public impatience over South Africa's continued lockdown aimed at curbing the spread of coronavirus. Beach goers and others protested over the weekend calling for beaches to be reopened. Protest organizers accused the government of being unconstitutional for closing the beaches. The group has threatened more marches and protests. Meanwhile, two church associations have sued South African President Cyril Ramaphosa and some of its ministers over the closure of churches. The associations allege government's decision was unfair, especially since some businesses, such as cinemas, are still allowed to operate if they have safety measures in place. South Africa is worse affected by the pandemic on the African continent. The country accounts for most of the cases and casualties in Africa. Nearly one and a half million coronavirus cases have been confirmed there, and more than 44,000 deaths. Travelers from South Africa have been banned from entering many countries because of a new variant of the virus found in the nation. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone, or online, we are there. We have the facts behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Algeria has extended COVID-19 partial lockdown until mid-February. The Prime Minister's office says the lockdown in a number of municipalities across the country will continue for two more weeks. A curfew earlier imposed from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. local time has been lifted as a result of the improvement on sanitary situation and the decreasing number of COVID-19 infection cases. Meanwhile, the country has begun discussions to have Russia's Sputnik V COVID-19 vaccine made in the country. Prime Minister Abdulaziz Jarrett's office says the two nations have agreed to start the process of making the vaccine in Algeria. The government did not give a manufacturing timeline and did not specify the quantities of doses to be produced. Algeria received its first half a million doses of Sputnik V last Friday and started a vaccination campaign on Saturday in Blida province. Authorities are expecting a second shipment of China's Sinopharm vaccine in the coming days. Communication Ministry says an Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine shipment ordered by the government would be delivered next month. The Algerian government announced a budget of $147 million to secure vaccines and to immunize its population of 40 million. That is ANA News Brief at 11. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adeyemi.